Hey all, a quick review of the Dos Hombres Espadín Mezcal. I'll give it a taste, get your pricing, and at the end, I'll tell you whether I think it's a good buy or not. All right, this one is best known as a celebrity mezcal by Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul from the mega hit uh, TV series, Breaking Bad. And as a celebrity mezcal, I think a lot of uh, mezcal and agave spirit aficionados uh, uh, automatically give it a bad rap. To me, it's a little bit of an unfair one, I'll explain. Before Dos Hombres entered the market, they spent time with a uh, well-regarded mezcal expert in Oaxaca, and who they ended up landing on was Gregorio Velasco Luis, who had previously made fantastic batches of an entry-level uh, mezcal for Legendary Domingo, and some high-end batches of other agaves for the brand Pierre de Almas. His 55% Tepestate uh, lights out. So Dos Hombres didn't just pick up some schmuck to make the mezcal, but ultimately, how does it taste? Let's give it a try. A little smoke to start. Um, getting some orange kind of citrusy notes, a little grassy, but it's kind of just your standard Espadine. Mm, this is good, like certainly not great, but um, it would actually be uh, good to try and taste this at a higher ABV. This is at 42%. Um, it would be really interesting to try it, say 48% if uh, the flavors pop a bit more. So Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, get this done at 48% for me, eh boys? Okay, now pricing. In California at Old Town Tequila, this is presently going for $55, and the average price around the US right now is about $58. Personally, I think this mezcal is kind of a in an in, in-between land. At 42%, it's lower ABV than most like to sip, and for the price range, you're gonna get better, higher ABV, better quality sippers out there. Uh, any of the Vago Espadines for one, the Tosva Espadine is fantastic, so, um, in terms of sipping, the value certainly uh, isn't there, and yeah, you're gonna find better better options for an actual lower price. Another big problem I see is this is priced too high for cocktail mezcals. Um, you're, you can get a higher quality, definitely higher quality, higher ABV in a Ray Compero Espadine uh, that is fantastic for making cocktails. That's around the $50 range. Benez has a reputation for a good uh, value mixer at, I believe that's under $35. So again, as a mixing cocktail mezcal, um, it'll do the job, but you can get way better value. But what this mezcal has going for it, brand recognition, so that is what enables them to charge more. But one thing that certainly annoys me about this, uh, about this bottle here is, and this is consistent with most celebrity tequilas, so Aaron Paul, Brian Cranston, they sign the, the front of the bottle, um, it drives me nuts like you guys have already made it big time share some of the light limelight with uh, the producer Gregorio Velasco's signature should be on that not your guys you guys didn't make it so final verdict in summary this mezcal really falls short in the value department to me it's a good tasting mezcal but there's better out there they're going to be less expensive please like and subscribe if you want some more uh, mezcal related content and I'll see you guys next time salute